Hey what's going on guys, Fitz here and welcome to another Gears Tactics video. Today we'll take a look at Gabe Diaz and the support skill tree. I'll focus on the combat medic build as I have already completed the game using that build. If you are interested in the warden and marksman build, check out my previous videos about the vanguard and the sniper builds. So without further ado, let's get into it. Gabe Diaz is a decorated lieutenant colonel in the Pendulum Wars, and his tactical brilliance was key to the COG victory over the UIR at the Battle of Gatkar Ridge. Gabe is the leader of your team in Gears Tactics and is tasked to track down Ukon. His primary weapon is the Lancer. If you've played the previous Gears of War games, you'll be familiar with Kate Diaz. Gabe is the father of Kate Diaz. There are a few things to keep in mind before we dive into the skill tree. I've talked about this on my previous videos, but I still want to say it for those who haven't seen those videos. This is not the only build or way to play the game, but if you want some baseline then this guide should help you. Once you find the skills you like, you can reset your skills and build game or your support the way you want. You can learn a maximum of 18 skills, but by the end of your first campaign, you will only be around level 6 or 7, so you'll only have 10 to 12 skills when you fight the final boss. You can continue playing your current campaign even after the credits roll. You'll unlock the veteran missions, which reward you with the best equipment and increase your veteran level. You have a limited reset skill so only use them when you're sure of the skills you want to learn. I'll show you the weapon mods and armor that I use to beat the game later on this video. As a support, there are 4 subclasses that you can focus on. The first class is the Surgeon. It focuses on continued healing, damage reduction, and revive. The second class is the Paragon. It focuses on giving action points to allies and they have a really good skill called lock and load which will have your units reload and get plus 50% damage during your turn. The third class is the combat medic. It focuses on healing and chainsaw attacks. And the last class is the strategist. It focuses on high power shots. This build focuses on the combat medic skills. As a support, Gabe's main role is to heal allies, provide action points, and finish off enemies. You usually stay behind your vanguard and scout, but don't be afraid to use your chainsaw and execution skills. You'll get more things done by being aggressive than just by camping. This combat medic build is a hybrid of healing and killing. That's why I really like bringing a support in missions. The skills have descriptions in-game and most of them are self-explanatory but I will still give my input on the skills to learn. At your base level, Gabe already has learned the passive skill Command. When you kill an enemy, all allies will heal for 4% of their maximum health. Learn Stim level 1 first. You will heal an ally or yourself for 100 health. You'll use this skill a lot and this will be your main source of healing. Next, learn Empower level 1. With this skill, you can give one action point to an ally. And if you take the Paragon path, it will be two actions plus 20% damage for one turn. Since we have very limited skill points, we will only take level 1. Next, learn Command level 2. This will increase your healing effects from 4% to 7% every time Gabe kills an enemy. Remember, this will heal you and your allies. Next, learn Recovery Patch Level 1. This will heal you or your ally 100 health at the end of your turn for 3 turns. This means the healing will only take effect after your turn and it will last for 3 turns. Use this on allies that are very low on health. Next, learn Group Therapy, level 1 and 2. This will heal you and your allies for 150 health. Use this skill if you have at least 2 allies with low health. 
If you just need to heal one ally, then use Stim, unless it's on cooldown. Next, learn Critical Healing. This is a passive skill that will give your healing skills a chance to deal plus 100% additional health or basically double the heal amount. Next, learn Chainsaw Recovery. This is a passive skill that will heal you and your allies for 50% of a unit's maximum health every time Gabe uses the Chainsaw Attack ability. Next, learn Triage. This is a passive skill that will give your healing skills plus 100% health if your target has less than 50% remaining health. Now, even your Stim level 1 skill will heal for a lot of health. Next, learn Chainsaw Attack Mastery. It will reduce your Chainsaw Attack ability cooldown by one turn. So this means more instant kill and healing for your party. Now you may ask why I didn't learn the Stim Grenade Mastery skill. Well, that skill is useful during the early part of the game. But mid to late game, you will rely heavily on your Stim and Group Therapy skills. Plus, I prefer to have a Frag Grenade equipped on Gabe with the low grenade cooldown armor that I will show later. And having a Frag Grenade equipped to every member of the party means I can do more AoE damage and close emergence holes with anyone. If you reach level 7, learn Weak Point. This is a passive skill that will grant you and your allies plus 5% critical hit chance this turn when your command skill is triggered. Then learn Chainsaw Rush. This is a passive skill that will give Gabe one action point after killing an enemy with a chainsaw attack. Sometimes, you may end up in the open after killing an enemy with your chainsaw. So, I will use the extra action point to get to cover, heal if I'm low on HP, or shoot if I have a high chance of hitting the enemy. Those are the skills that I recommend for the combat medic build. Again, this is not the only build or way to play the game. This is just my recommendation for those of you looking for some baseline to build your support class. Now let me show you the weapon mods and armor that I used when I beat the final boss. There are 4 mods for your primary weapon, the Lancer. For the stock, I used the legendary Overwatch stock. This will give your Overwatch shots plus 30% damage and the best part is Gabe will automatically reload during Overwatch. This is one of the best mods in the game. You can just have one remaining ammo in your magazine and just enter Overwatch as your last action. Gabe will reload and will have a full magazine during his Overwatch. For the magazine, I use the Epic Drum Mag which gives you plus 3 ammo. As I mentioned in my previous videos, Having more ammo is always good, and sometimes even better than flat additional damage. For the sight, I use the legendary Diagnostic Scope. It has the passive skill Diagnosis, which will give your healing skills plus 40% effect, and on top of that, after you use a healing skill, your next shot will have 100% accuracy. You won't miss your shot after healing. For the barrel, I use the Epic Impact Barrel. It gives plus 20 damage and the passive skill Disrupt, which will knock back targets when you shoot and hit them. For the secondary weapon, I equip the Snub Pistol, which is the best pistol that I have right now. For the grenade slot, equip Gabe with the Epic Frag Grenade that gives plus 100 damage. Yes, a Frag Grenade and not a Stim Grenade. As I have mentioned earlier, you will rely heavily on stim and group therapy for healing. Plus, Gabe will have a really low grenade cooldown because of one armor piece that I will show later. Now let's check out the armor pieces that I used for the final boss fight. For the helmet, I equipped the epic UIR regulator. It gives plus 16 health and the passive skill blast zone 
which will increase your grenade radius effect by 25%. For the chest armor, I equip the Epic UIR Regulator. It gives plus 16 health and the passive skill Grenadier, which gives plus 25% to frag and stem grenade effects. You can also use the Epic Ranger Kit. It gives plus 10% evasion and the passive skill Blitz. Blitz will give you a 50% chance to get one action point at the start of your next turn if you didn't shoot on your last turn. Sometimes, you can only heal and give an action point to an ally during your turn and don't have enough action points to shoot. So this is a good armor choice if you keep finding yourself in those situations. For the leg armor, I equip the Epic UIR Holsters. It gives plus 30 health and the passive skill Utility Belt. That will lower your frag and stim grenade cooldown by 3 turns. This is the armor that I mentioned earlier. If you have this equipped, you can use your grenades twice more often. And with all the other armor pieces, your grenade attacks will have more AoE and damage. With this build, you can have a major impact on the battlefield. Gabe should prioritize healing an ally and using his chainsaw attacks as often as possible. Also, make sure to use your frag grenades on cluster of enemies or even on just one tough enemy. Lastly, provide allies the action point if needed so they can take an additional shot or maybe get them to cover. And that concludes the support combat medic build for Gabe Diaz. Let me know in the comment section below which character you want to see next or if you have any questions or suggestions. Hit the like button if this video helped you. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.